Hey, how are you guys doing? It's me, Elric, and Buddy the Impatient Dog here from the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. Today, we're bringing you another cool unboxing and first look of another new product from Cooler Masters CM Storm Gaming Division. What is this? This is the new Sentinel Advance 2. A lot of cool programmable buttons, lots of features on this thing, really high DPI. The dog's getting really impatient, so I think without like any more, let's see what he's gonna do. You gonna kiss me? Oh, yep, there he goes. He's a love dog, he loves to love. And uh, I guess we should just probably uh, get into the unboxing before he goes crazy. All right, you wanna go? What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? All right, so first we're gonna take a look and we'll see the outside of the box. We can see it's a CM Storm Sentinel Advance 2. And then we'll jump around and take a look at the specifications in the back of the box. Right hand ergonomic design. Vago ADNS 9800 laser sensor, 200 to 8200 DPI tracking resolution, on the fly DPI tuning, as little as 1.5 millimeter liftoff, up to 150 IPS, 125 hertz to 1000 hertz USB rate fine tuning, which is called polling, 128 kilobyte or central X memory for profiles and macros, nine virtual buttons via the button combinations, what I think is where you would add the 17, because nine and eight equals 17. I remember talking about that minute ago. The customizable OLED logo, customizable multicolor LED light system. It also comes with five 4.5 gram weight fine tuning system. Now let's open up and see the inside of the box. So starting off looking at the top of the box, we see it says it has a superior gaming grade sensor. Now I don't know if this is a mistake or if that's actually what's supposed to be. It may be supposed to be superior, but maybe they really do mean superior. Next up, we see the customizable profile light effects, which means you can change the color of the top of the mouse from red to blue, to yellow to green. That's pretty cool. To the right of that, we also have 128 kilobyte Sentinel X memory for profiles and macros. On the fly, DPI fine tuning. To the left of that, this is something that's actually quite cool. You can add your clan or your community logo right to your mouse. This mouse also comes with an advanced driver panel, has its own GUI for customizing and working with this mouse. That's pretty cool shit too. Also, we have the Storm Tactics Multiplier Key. Next up, we have the Weight Fine Tuning System, which is a bunch of different weighted little pieces of metal that will actually allow you to make your mouse lighter or heavier depending on your needs. I'll just real quick glance at the bottom of the box so you guys can see all these things. Okay, we can also see the mouse inside of its plastic clamshell cover there. Then I'm going to break out my trusty knife right here. You guys can see that. Nice click of the click. Go ahead and make an insertion down here in the bottom. Cut that. Pop the caps. Go ahead and pull everything slightly out. So that's that. Some sound effects as I toss it. Cameraman. Oh! All right, so here's the clamshell. We're going to go ahead and remove the clamshell. We'll see the mouse itself real quick. I'll pull that. Let's just take a look at the accessory packages. Basically, this just has their website and all that stuff on there. Then we've got some custom little plastic pieces to put on the mouse. Don't know exactly what they are, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Then we've got the little user's manual, warranty information. Tells all their product warranties and all that stuff in here for actually all their products. So if you have any questions about any warranties, they're all in here no matter what the product is. Then let's take a look at the mouse itself. You can see the right side of it. We have this, and then we have that XL button that we talked about earlier, which allows you to have 17 buttons. So the nine and eight buttons together create 17. It's gonna spin around, let you guys see the sleek look right there. Take a side look. Take a top look. So here we are, I have one, two, three, four, five buttons on top. Your center button. There are no buttons on this side at all. So you guys the front kind of under view. Then the total bottom view. Here's the sensor. Sentinel Advance 2. Also, as we see at the bottom of the mouse, you guys can see it says right here, it's made in China. Oh, yes. And then earlier we talked also about the weights. They're located inside of here. So let me turn this thing around right here and pop this thing off. So here are the weights. I guess they just actually pull out one by one. Actually, I'll let the camera just get a nice shot of those. 
I'm actually going to pull any of these out right now. You don't need to see them, but each one of them is weighed at 4.55. You can see that. If you want to make them the mouse lighter, though, you just casually pull them out and then put them back in to your liking. The back plate, it pops on nice and neatly. And by the way, all the drivers and everything for this are available on their website. I don't know why it doesn't come with a driver CD, but um, all the drivers are available on their website and everything. And I usually get samples sometimes sooner, so maybe just for some reason mine just didn't come with it, but I know they will have it probably in the box and you see it. Here's also the gold-plated connector. So, I mean, that's it, folks. You guys saw it here. This is the new Cooler Master CM Storm Sentinel Advanced 2 Highly Programmable High DPI Mouse. I'll see you guys in Fragland.